tech has to be simplified it's very important 10 to 15000 region 15 to 20000 region i mean there you don't have good phone what a beautiful phone probably the best uh, flip phone till date OnePlus has gone all out. Let, let let me let me say that the Realme 11 Pro and the Pro Plus weren't that exciting because you are telling us that you are collecting data, but what are you doing about it? Where are you storing it? If you are not telling that, that just doesn't make sense. Okay, we're back. Another podcast. Last one was really fun. Yeah. yeah. Views nahi aa rahe. Aap bata rahe ho. That's fine. I enjoy doing it. We enjoy, we enjoy doing, doing it. it. So uh, you know that's what it is. Um, right. you know these podcasts are fun let absolutely. me tell you that absolutely. and uh, a lot of times we you know when the other videos are there we are not able to speak certain things here we just speak our hearts heart out, out. So. heart out there's a lot to talk about this week as well arun and sajid yeah. uh, and i see that a you guys lot. are wearing some really nice <laughs> <laughs> something's happening something is happening you, you you know what the worst part about this is that you've kept me in the dark about it <laughs> and you're not having it You are wearing. Some don't do this, please. <laughs> please don't do this. Okay. There's going to be something for you guys as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. Next ten days, it's going to be amazing. You're doing so, a lot of. Uh, there is a lot happening apart from just tracking text. Yes, right. A lot. Oh my God! I'm excited about it. Yeah, and I get so overwhelmed when I come in the morning. Hey, ye ye karna hai, wo karna hai, wo karna hai. But anyways, let's 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 just start. <laughs> All right. So so today, what we're going to talk about. Uh, is because there's not much happening in the tech world recently there are a lot there's a lot happening in the next week oh. alone oh. Yeah. right i mean there's there are so many launches yeah. uh, it's maddening because sajid and i are already hyperventilating <laughs> <laughs> we are like uh, I, we don't know how much to do but anyway i'll just lay out the number of phones that are or the yeah. the actual phones that are launching uh -huh. There's the iQOO Neo 7 Pro. There's the Moto Razr 40 series, which has the 40 and the 40 Ultra, right? <laughs> There are three phones already. Okay, okay, okay. Sajid is keeping the count. Reno 10 series, which has, I think, the Reno 10, Reno 10 Pro, and the 10 Pro Plus, right? Then there's the Nord 3 and the Nord CE 3. Yeah. Big. Nothing phone two. Yeah. Bigger. <laughs> Mumbai, my God, the most uh, hyped up again and awaited. Yeah. And then Beast Mode Narzo 60 Pro is also coming. <laughs> then there's a Galaxy M54 also. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, seven, seven odd phones, huh? Twelve. Yeah, already. Twelve phones, and that's just these first two weeks, huh? Yeah. So this is the first time in like in, in five years we have seen embargoes from Monday to Saturday. Oh, so there is embargo on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, each day. Yeah. What is an embargo? I mean, I know, of course, but <laughs> just quickly, Arun, what is an embargo? Embargo is uh, essentially, in layman term, we get the phones earlier, but we cannot put it at a certain date and time. Uske baad mein hi dalna hai. We cannot put it uh, before that. If we do it, if something gets leaked from us, we have to pay hefty fines and legal lawsuit. And has that ever happened, though? Has anyone ever paid? I remember once ASUS had a massive embargo document in which they had clearly outlined that if anything leaks out, you have to pay three lakh rupees. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and th that was long time back. And now it is uh, in tunes of uh, tens of lakhs, tens of lakhs. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. And legal lawsuit. So <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll start talking about why the most important phones first next week that are launching. Let's start off with the first phone that is launching, the first series that is launching. That is the Motorola uh, Razr 40 and the Razr 40 Ultra. Wow, man! <laughs> that Ultra is because we had uh, got it from China yeah, earlier, yeah. and we have we have yeah. What a beautiful phone! Probably the best uh, flip phone till date. That's what I think, and and the cover display was so impressive. Agreed, agreed. So you know, I mean, that's about the phones themselves. I mean, we've spoken at length about it, but what I want to talk about more is from the perspective of the pricing, right? I mean, there is a pricing that has leaked out. Yeah. Uh, on what was the leak price? What, what was it? Fifty nine triple nine for the Razer forty. Razer forty and Ultra. Think? That they haven't leaked out no. yet. Oh, so, it's, it's so not out. So may take a wild guess. Um, see if they launch. From what I saw, the Chinese variant, it will not come below eighty eighty five thousand. That much I can tell yeah, you. And even at eighty five, I think it is a good. If uh, they want, if they want to like, like, hmm. g like you know, be like uh, aggressive, like they did with the H forty, uh. they have to do a seventy five to seventy nine pricing. Yeah, I'm, you're I'm optimistic. You're optimistic. <laughs> I don't think so. But yeah, if it that'll comes, that'll be that'll be that'll be, that'll be, that'll be yeah. awesome. That'll be really awesome. But. Uh, uh, you know there will be some introductory offers for uh, Razer 40 so 5000 6000 agar kam ho jate hain so about 50 55 will be Razer 40 and at that price i think uh, Razer 40 might be a very very good prices 
I just love the fact that Flipkart is not just the the platform that's leaking the prices. <laughs> <laughs> it's Amazon as well. <laughs> Talking about which? Oh, this came on Amazon, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Fifty nine triple is starting from. So 59 Amazon triple. is their retail. Uh, this thing, uh, the yes, partner for this one. Yeah, that is surprising. So uh, this time it's going. Always Motorola has preferred Flipkart, but now they are. Considering what happened with Tejas. I know he's crying oh in the background over there. Just, he ordered uh, uh, Edge 40 and Flipkart just screwed his happiness to the level where he cancelled it. So apparently it was going to get delivered on one Saturday and it didn't get delivered for a week sort of thing. He's trying to contact them. Can't. So, so basically you're saying that Flipkart kept Tejas on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Flipkart kept, kept Tejas on the edge and finally... <laughs> and unfortunately he had to cancel it. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully he'll get it Hopefully. in let's the see. next this let's thing. See. Let's see. But I'm convincing him to buy another phone. Anyway. Which talk. one? Uh, uh, redacted. <laughs> Under embargo. Redacted, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So, see, uh, see, that's an embargo. That's yeah, a, yeah, that's an embargo. That's, that's, an, that's embargo. an embargo. That's an embargo. We, 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 we adhere to it. It's very important that we do. Um, otherwise, obviously, they won't work with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. So, Razer 40, Razer 40 Ultra. I mean, obviously, it's... Sajid, what do you think of the phones themselves? I would love to know your opinion. I'm more excited for the Razer 40. Razer 40. Yeah, okay. because I think it will... It is for the masses, yes, I, I yes. feel. Uh, also, the given the leaked prices, it yeah. it is looking that it will be a you know uh, so consumers will have an option for a different form factor, mm -hmm. just a regular candy bar, and then they can think that there is a flip phone as well yeah. in the, in that price range. And considering Motorola has been making good Razer phones, I yeah, mean, so that's a good. All right. Okay, Razer now moving on to the next phone that is launching the very next day. If I am not entirely wrong, it is the Ico Neo Seven yes. Pro, right? Yeah. And um, uh, the pricing for that. I want to start off by saying what the <coughs> Pri prices officially come out. I mean, Amazon has leaked it. I'm yeah. presuming it's official. Amazon. Okay. Thirty-three triple nine. <laughs> wow. For eight plus even, Gen even one. if it's even if it's whatever like you know discounted pricing or whatever, for eight plus Gen, Gen one. one. This when we are saying that the nothing phone two with eight plus Gen one will come for forty five fifty thousand. <laughs> Sajid, thoughts? I'm I'm stunned. <laughs> stunned. <laughs> if it actually happens, no. Why? Wow, sound? man. I mean, imagine 8 plus Gen 1 you're getting for 33, 30, 32, 33,000 is crazy. That but, phone but, has but, an ultra wide. But, no? but the biggest question is. Camera. camera. But Ico consumers, they don't focus on cameras. Like they are gaming. basically for performance yeah. and that is what they are giving. Yeah. Price to performance ratio is crazy, crazy. man. Crazy. And also, they have the gaming DNA also. Na? Yeah, yeah. They'll have motion control yeah, and all, all that. Actually, all this, uh, this phone also has dual chip. so. Oh, nice. Oh, the switching yeah. chip for... Correct. So, they'll have interpolation as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, Nippon did tweet yeah. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. Ico Neo 7 Pro is looking very exciting. Should they just buy the Ico Neo 7 Pro? Should they just buy the Ico Neo 7 Pro or, or the Edge 40? 40. <laughs> let, let us know. Let us know. He's right behind the camera. And so Ico Neo 7 Pro is on Amazon. I'm presuming Amazon will deliver his order at least. Hashtag justice for Tejas. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag justice for Tejas. All, All right. right. All, All right. right. Okay. Mm. After that, after that, of course, on the fifth is the biggie... The Nord 3, the oh. Nord CE3, and of course they have some buds also coming apparently. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And Nord 3, Nord CE3? Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think they are quite good. I cannot uh, say much again here, but Nord 3, uh, OnePlus has gone all out. Let, 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 me, let me say that here, right? What, 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 you tell me, you tell me about OnePlus. Yeah, I know, I mean OnePlus. Yeah, the only thing is, it's going to be a rebranded version of the S2B. Uh, mm. I hope... Uh, well, that we know. But, uh, and it's uh, yeah. fully specced and all that. But Nord was supposed to be kind of budget, medium uh, medium uh, phone. And, you know, these are flagships. They are number series and R series and all that. And then uh, here it is about 2025. But now this is going beyond 30 is... is is I, I really don't know. It's confusing. It's you think it will be going beyond 30 for sure? I think so. I th with that kind of specs... You yeah, can't have it below 30. Even, that that yeah, I can definitely because, uh, say. Even the leaked prices are indicating that it will be close to 33, 34k. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. So this is leaked from Amazon or this is leaked from uh, other uh, people? Other saying? people on Twitter. Uh, so it's not an official, official yeah. number. Yeah. I hope it's not that much, man. I mean, it's okay. I mean, if it... If it's what do you think about 33? Let's say 33 may come to So, uh, I think 33 is uh, good pricing for Nord 3 given that it has a lot of uh, flagship level specifications yeah. that... But uh, my major question will be, uh, so how how uh, consumer will differentiate, should he buy Nord 3 or 11R? Because it has a Diamond City. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Diamond City 9000 versus 8 plus Gen 1. 8 plus Gen 1. Yeah. Performance is nearly similar, right? Yeah, yeah, and nearly similar. Diamond City 9000. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nearly similar. Nearly so, similar. Yeah. so Nord 3. But you know what's what's been a little clandestine is the Nord CE3. 
I mean, yeah. we 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 don't know much about it. So, I mean, what's happening know. on that front? Like, I mean, so, what's happening uh, in Manchester? It started with some exclusive leaks that okay. that it is coming, okay. and uh, there is a. Uh, one specifically leak that it has a Snapdragon 782. 782? What is the 782? So, I think it's rebranded 778. Oh, okay. so like a very, super yeah. mid-range chip. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So, around the 5, 6 lakh and to 2 correct, number? Correct, correct. And oh. given that Nord 3 will go 33, 34k, so this will uh, sit between 24 to 28 prices. We need actually a yeah. good phone in that yeah. Yeah. Apart yeah, from yeah. the Moto H40, uh, not the Realme 11 Pro and the Pro Plus weren't that exciting. The Redmi Note 12 Pro series also not that exciting. Compared to that, 782G, 782, sorry, 782 will be similar to the uh, Dimensity 1080. 1080, yes. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Mm. Mm. But a OnePlus All right, phone. That's, that's what OnePlus Nord and Nord, Nord, Nord C3 C3 is. C3 like. Okay. All right. Uh, moving on. Moving on. After that, we have the Reno 10 series. Now, this, surprisingly, um, is a phone that I didn't expect, uh, I didn't see was coming, uh, mm -hmm. you know, this early, but it is. Mm -hmm. And again, and I don't know much about it. I'll be honest. Uh, so I, the I Reno 10 Pro Plus is looking very interesting. I'll tell you why. Yes. Because it has Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Which is good. I'm I'm thinking about cameras. Kaise hone wale. Because That's what... It has, it has a periscope camera. Periscope camera. Exactly. Periscope sensor. So yeah. That's going to be uh, exciting. But Reno, considering Oppo, they won't keep the price low. No. So it'll be around 55 or something. 55? 50 or 55, yeah. 50, 55? Yeah. Oh. 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 Look at the range of 8 plus Gen 1 devices, right? Something starts at 34, 34, 34, 34 and then 50, all the way 55. 60, 55. 60, 60, 60. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Right. Okay. And in that, what what is the exciting phone, Sajid? Red Dot 10 series. Which one would you look for? I was actually looking for the 10 Pro Plus and it's coming. luckily it's coming. So uh, I'm happy that Oppo is bringing the, yeah. the flagship phone. Because, I hope they yeah. have the processing similar to the Find X Pro, uh, X6 Pro because that had very good cameras. Yes. Oh, yes. Find a X6 yes. Pro, excellent. If the 10 Pro Plus yeah. takes pictures similar to the Find X6 Pro, that will be yeah, something. That, that will be, be something. something. That will be something. In that case, then you, you might be like, huh, okay, fine, best camera phone for 50,000. Mm, uh -huh. yes. That's, yes. that's probably so the differentiator. That's probably the tagline Correct. that it's going for. Correct. But then again, like similar to what you said about the Nord series, the Renault series is also supposed to be like a mid-range mid sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, but everyone is going one step further. And what is happening, uh, interesting thing that is happening is everything is going beyond 20. There is, you know, a lot of space uh, in 10 to 15,000 region, 15 to 20,000 region. I mean, there you don't have good phones. Interesting, interesting that you bring this up because then I can talk about the fact that there was a story that Micromax Lava and uh, Micromax and Lava and one more brand, which was the other brand? I forget. Itel, I think. I can't remember. Carbon. 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 carbon, carbon uh -huh. right. mm. uh, so, uh, Micromax, Lava and Carbon are apparently going to be tackling that space. Yeah, yeah. I also read that Economic Times, uh, it had come. And I think that's a get, that's a good thing, uh, right? I mean, if they can uh, bring in good uh, phones at that price point, 10,000, 15,000, it will be really good because there there is really dearth of uh, phones out there. So Right now, yeah. I mean, but do you think that... Uh, oh, no, there's still an audience for it. Yeah. I mean, there's still a... There, there, Obviously, there is. I'm, there is I'm, still I'm sure about the lava, but I'm not sure about the rest Why? too. Micromax? Yeah. Micromax <laughs> has promised so many things yeah. and you know not delivered. Yeah. Even the in series was good. They could yes. have continued yes. doing it, and then I don't know. It was too. All right, let's move on. Let's move, let's move on. on. Moving on to. I mm. uh, got so many phones. Yeah, I mean, mm. okay. So finally, I'll talk about one more important phone, and that is a nothing phone too. Last two podcasts we have spoken, spoken about, about the, the nothing, uh, phone, nothing phone too. Phone too. Let's quickly. But apparently, just quickly talk about mm -hmm. the fact that. It's pre-orders are up, mm. uh, so it's gone live and you can pre-order one for 2,000 rupees. Mm. Now here I want to pose a question is that uh, should anybody pre-order a phone without actually seeing it? If you're confident that this is the phone I want to buy because there are people with nothing phone one who, who will you know close their eyes and say no I'm going to buy nothing phone two because I had great experience with nothing phone one and that's going to be an upgrade. So those are the people but very few other normal general public should not buy it. That's what that's what I feel. So pre-booking also comes with the bragging rights that I got it first, the first access thing. Mm. Okay. So so nerdy people yeah, will do it, but yeah. other than that, I don't think. And I think it's a completely wrong idea. Even if you're a nerd, even if you're a tech nerd, you shouldn't do it because we can take the example of games. Because yeah. pre you yeah. lot of lot of gamers they generally pre-order games, and then they're broken at launch. It happened with the Cyberpunk 2077 when yeah. I wanted to pre-order one, but I never did. Mm. Because and I'm glad I didn't because at launch it was it was a broken game entirely. All right, and considering that, I think that any even for phones, even for any you know tech products, gadgets, you shouldn't pre-order. Ideally, mm. wait for wait for the launch to happen. Also, yeah. like how we say, don't do the update first. Yeah, wait yeah, for how yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
don't be the guinea pig basically yeah. okay. unless you're like a extreme tech enthusiast mm-hmm. all right that's about about the upcoming launches oh God, there's a, there's a lot of phones a lot of phones yeah, yeah. it just yeah. gets a little yeah. but but there are some good offers for the pre 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 order so 50%, 50% on their yes, uh, accessories, or, yeah, accessories and on. Yeah. yeah that's nice but, but again, i mean that's yeah. that's their way to get a sticky audience anyway they have to build that community also all right are you guys ready for the toughest tech quiz oh This is I am not. I am not ready. I am not ready. Okay, okay. You know what? You know what? I know, I I don't know if people remember it, but in the last podcast, in the toughest toughest tech quiz, I actually made it very difficult for you guys. Now I'll try to make it easy. Okay, let's see. Okay, first question is, how many? I repeat, how many iPhones have launched till date? The total number. I need the number. And you have to count. You have to count everything. Like you have to count a yeah, iPhone eight and eight plus eleven, eleven Pro, eleven Pro Max. Was it eleven Pro Max? Shit. About sixty-seven, uh, sixty-eight. <laughs> You're way off target, Arun. Huh? <laughs> Sajid, you want to? Ven- yeah. You can. You can still get, venture a guess, okay? <laughs> hey. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> So you're talking about Pro, Pro Plus, Ultra, you know all those. Yeah, I'm uh, saying you're, you're actually beyond the number. Twenty-seven. Very close. Okay, okay. I'll I'll give you the. You know, I I calculated simple. No no no. Ah, this is not simple. It's thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay. Thirty-seven okay. iPhones have launched till date. It's quite a number, no? Yeah yeah. So so I arrived at forty-five and then I said no. I have uh, you know uh, I think. <laughs> Missed out. Uh, so I I did. Ten ten. के बाद है ना उन्होंने like. थ्री फोर पहले नहीं हुआ था मैं वही थोड़ा ओके सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नाउ दिस कुड बी नो बडी विंस बिकॉज आई गेट दो नो बडी विंस ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस इज नॉट एन इजी क्विज इट इज अ टफेस्ट टेक क्विज एनी वे मूविंग ऑन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज वी ऑल नो वॉट द रेडमी नोट सेवन प्रो राइट Mm. very popular phone because mm. it had it was the first time they introduced a 48 megapixel sensor mm. yeah yeah uh, which was i will tell you the sony imx 586 mm. obviously the question won't be that easy yeah. the question is what <laughs> what sensor did the redmi note 7s have and i'm not going to give you any clues it was a samsung one and uh, tell me the sensor name and the uh, resolution to the gm1 How does Sajid get? <laughs> yeah, man. Of course. Oh my God! <laughs> See, that's why. Yeah, that's why he's the tech expert. That's, and, and that and that's how many megapixels? Forty-eight. Forty-eight megapixels. Yeah. So that was that yeah, was like, because yeah. I think I remember that Redmi sent it in the space or something and uh, captured a. Okay, so so, so I, I I will ask you, uh, which you you will guess it now, but which was the phone uh, which was under ten thousand with a glass back? Redmi Note Seven. Uh, Right. Right. Okay. All right. Final question. Okay. Mm. So Steve Jobs, what was his first job title, and where did he work? Actually, where where did he work, and what was his first job title? If you watched the movie or read the book, you'll probably be able to answer it easily. And I will give you a clue if you guys no, wait, are completely clueless. Wait, wait, no, no, don't. What was his first? Where did he work? What was his first job, and what was that job title? Even if you get one of the things right, that'll be great. Uh. Audience, up for you guys also. Huh? <laughs> does anyone know? Here? Does anyone know? One, two, three, here? four, five, six, six people, uh, seven people. Huh? Did he work in Xerox? Wrong. No more. No more guesses. Eh, to the call na. Ah, call na. Search kiya usse. Search kiya yaar. Shit, I should not have opened it. So yeah, so he was a video game designer. But where did he work? Now it's you know it's a video game company. No, no, no. No, I'm giving it to them now. Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. 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 <laughs> Atari, 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 Atari. Fun fact, fun fact. Steve Wozniak made uh, the uh, uh, made the he made this uh, he made a version of Pong. You know what Jobs did for the interview? Actually, took that version and went to them, uh, and they thought that he's the one who made the game oh. and he got the job. <laughs> <laughs> job just being a smart ass. Yeah. Anyway, so all right. Um, okay, it was tough. When will we get right? He got uh, you know. No, 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 no,
the government started taking a look into it. And then, of course, uh, you know, brands came back and said that, I'll explain this to you. Essentially, they're saying that we're collecting data. Yes, they're collecting data of call logs. They're collecting data of this thing. Stats of call logs and messages and uh, location data and your app usage, right? Now, all of the data apparently is encrypted, one, and stored within the hardware. And all the data processing also happens within a secure hardware chip inside the hardware itself. None of this, by the way, is mentioned in that disclaimer that is there in your phone. Whether it's a OnePlus, whether it's a Realme, whether it's an Oppo. Thoughts? Uh, see, if that is the explanation they have given uh, uh, afterwards, after we came out with uh, all this. Uh, if that is the case, see, Apple, if, if it does the same, they will put it in their, uh, yeah, wherever, yeah, all yeah, the fine yeah. print, everywhere they'll put it. You know, there has to be this disclosure. And second important thing is, if you're doing it, please, by default, don't keep the toggle on. These are the two things. Mention completely, transparently in, in, in all the text that you, because you are telling us that you're collecting data, but what are you doing about it? Where are you storing it? If you're not telling that, that just doesn't make sense. And second thing, let the let user decide whether to uh, use it or not use those intelligent search services. So that has to be by default kept off, period. That, that Those are my thoughts. Yeah, and also I feel that that set setting should be in the battery section if it is uh... interesting oh yeah there's there's that other point yeah. right i mean the fact that they're it actually deep somewhere yes. no one will find yeah. the other thing is they're also collect doing this data collection so that they can improve the performance of your phone okay. So that's that's one of the reasons why. Um, whether it does that exactly or not, we don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, we were having discussion on this. I, I will not believe that, you know, it, it really will uh, improve the performance. I, I really will not, unless they give me a uh, compelling, uh, yeah, you know, reason, reason or, yeah, I mean, this is what we are doing and that's why the performance is improved. Other, I'll not believe it otherwise. Why is it called intelligent services though? I was, I was thinking the same, that it's definitely not intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Uh, that's that. I mean, what do you guys think? I would love to know, actually, let us, we would love to know. Let us know in the comments. What are your thoughts on that? And, you know, it'll be great to have a discourse. Also, share this with your friends. I mean, it's important that they should know about it because yeah. you guys are using these phones, so you know, should know what are the kind of things that you're... They, one of the things that, Arun, what do you, what do you uh, think of privacy and, you know, what we think of privacy as a culture in India. There, there still needs to be a lot of education and we try to do through our videos, uh, we, through our shorts, we keep on... I mean, uh, the category which we have targeted most is privacy, data privacy in our short videos, in our long videos, because education is very, very important. Even today, we talk about privacy as tech people, we understand the importance, but a normal person still does not understand. They will even share OTP even today and that's why there are so many scams, scams that, are, that, are that are happening. It is in our hands and other tech creators and that we should keep, uh, you know, kind of educating public on what they have to do. That, that's why whenever some scam comes, anything comes, we uh, make a video only for that so that you will understand people who are uh, non-techies. So as a culture, we still do not give importance to data privacy. Uh, I, I don't think so. There are hardly one or two percent people, but majority, 95 percent plus people do not even understand what data privacy is. And don't download pink WhatsApp, please. What is what is the scene with the pink? <laughs> WhatsApp pink, oh my god. <laughs> what is that? So, it's a malware. And malware, uh, yeah. Whenever you get a message, it just forwards a download link to that, that okay. sender. And People just have to be really more... Yeah. Careful, I would suggest. Um, okay, so now this brings now now I'm uh, okay. That's that with that topic though. Uh, the next one is um, there was a controversy that happened. I'm not getting into the controversy per se. Uh, in the Tamil tech creator space with uh, two channels, which is A to D and Tamil Tech, we know Tamil personally. Uh, they've solved it. They've resolved it. But there was a discourse that happened there, and I was very interested in that discourse uh, and what you guys think about it. I'm not getting into the details. Those who want to know, they have all that information out there. But the debate and the discourse over there is that if you are a tech creator, aspiring tech creator, or a tech creator already, uh, someone who talks about technology, whether it's through blogs, whether it's on your social media platform, whether it's on YouTube, whatever it is, should you do it, uh, should it be only someone who has deep tech knowledge, get into the graphs of it, get into bar charts, test it, uh, you know, run all the benchmarks possible, show all of that, or, or should you be able to talk to a larger audience? Sajid, I want to start with you. What is your thought on this? That's the main thing that we do on Hindi channel. Yes. That we we want uh, tech to go for the masses. Right. To, to reach the masses. Because uh, 
tech uh, is an integral part of our life right, right now and uh, i think uh, it shouldn't be just that uh, marketing language and that tech jargons yeah. so that should be like uh, very yeah, broken down to like every person and that's the main reason why uh, the privacy issues are uh, and security issues are more right, right, uh, right. you know prevalent right now prevalent right now right right so yeah okay so uh, he, here's the take there, there's a reason since we started track and tech one thing that we have focused we have a dedicated research team who does all this every benchmark score throttling test stress test we do everything yeah yeah we do but if you see our unboxing we never put that no. the point is people who are watching us are not niche audience not techy nerds they are general audience they they will never understand if you put uh, bar charts and all those things in front of them they want to know whether uh, you know the battery is going to last me for one and a half days or not you know whether the performance if i do x y z thing will it work properly without uh, being laggy those are the th we try to simplify it but that means that my research team our research team which is headed by obviously uh, sajid they go do all these tests they give me feedback and i put it simply in front of uh, uh, the audiences that is what we do so basically so, whatever you're saying on camera it should be backed by research and data yes. but not necessarily that you know that research and data should be perfect perfect so you have when i say something i am extremely confident because we have gone through the paces we have done all the research only then i make that one particular sentence so in my unboxing if i say something that the uh, battery life is really good that does not mean we have i'm just saying out of uh, you know just like that without doing any research we do research we test it out and then we say it so yeah. and it's obviously the the idea is uh, you know uh, that you shouldn't mislead your audience yes that, that is oh, that's that a given. is your that, yeah, that's yeah, a given yeah, yeah. so don't mislead your audience and you know talk to them yeah, about uh, at the same time i also want to say that uh, if you are doing that detail you have to understand that your audience is is niche so uh, which is very true even in our case right i mean when track and tech does videos mm. uh, or we do our unboxing on track and tech we don't go into the depths of it uh. but when track and tech english does it you do a complete review you literally use it for 15 days see every every single and aspect then, of it yeah and so there are different audiences so there are different uh, subsets of audiences uh, yeah yeah so that is also right this is also right it is what your audience wants and that's what i keep telling everyone and you know my point is that and I I was talking to you guys about it as well is that you know the best uh, tech journalists that i followed people i absolutely look up to like walt mossberg of kinds of walt mossberg they've also done the same thing right i mean it's not like they don't do the research in the back end but when they're talking to the audience when they, have to, they when they have to review the first ever iphone how does that change the whole dynamic uh, will it will it work for the audience you know those you know how does this technology impact you know people at a because tech right like he mentioned it's it's an integral part yeah, of life it's yeah. almost like something that you cannot live without right yeah. look at the amount of people that are using yes. tech right yeah. tech has to be simplified it's mm. very important so yeah so basically um like i said like you said like um sajid said tech needs to be uh, tech everybody needs to know about tech um and not just somebody who's Uh, a nerd yes right yes. i mean tech is for everybody tech you you shouldn't it, and that is why people and that that's why at the end of the day when you, even you look at apple when they do their iphones yeah. when they when they talk about mac and everything yeah, yeah. they don't go into the yeah. they don't ever i mean i'm telling you i'm everyone else does it differently these guys do it differently asus is exactly opposite okay yeah. that's they go and they go to the depths of it they tell you the bar chart and everything apple on the other hand will show you the use case actual use cases you know and, and, and this is this is a point that i want to make to the audience as well whenever we have an apple briefing oh, it's man. so beautiful always every single time uh, it's beautiful because what they show us when say for example there's a macbook what they show us is how you can use that macbook to better your fcp use yes 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 or and how to play games yes when we had the macbook 15 briefing hmm. they showed us stree <laughs> that game and so yeah so it's it's yeah. that's that's what it is you you have to simplify tech for your or for your audience that's important and this was i think a, a very very enlightening conversation i genuinely yeah enjoyed i enjoyed it, it. I, like i said like at the start of this podcast i said you know this is fun because this is where we just speak from heart like we do when we are off camera, off camera. we are, we are speaking exactly like that that's what we are what we can do sajid this time around let's let's do one thing why don't you guys do one thing ask your deepest tech questions like whatever you want to ask whatever you want to ask whatever okay. you want to ask not not your basic stuff like i'm not not for is coming over no 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 not that by like, the way it is <laughs>
<laughs> of course it is. I mean, it will come at some point. But the point is that just get into it. Um, ask us whatever, like, you know, uh, philosophical questions about tech that you have. Anything. Anything. Yeah, and and you, you can specifically ask also. Bhai, Sajid, ye bolo. Yes, Bhai, ye, exactly. I want to know and this. We have, and, and, and in the content team, we have Sajid. We, of course, have Arna. We have Maruf. And we have Shrikant as yeah. well. So you can address to anybody. Um, and you can talk to anybody, of course. And then we will, uh, we will try to answer that in the next podcast. Yes. I'll keep that ready. All right. Until the next one. Keep tracking and, and stay, stay safe. safe.